how should we prepare for CAT 2021? Specifically, what are the what does CAT 2020 told us? Right? How to prepare for 2021? There's a CAT generally. There's a series of videos, the entire page dedicated to that. Go through that. I want to focus on what does CAT 2020 given us. Right? First thing, uh, very often when you prepare, you, there are about 10 levels of difficulty. We get comfortable with level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then mind sometimes resist. Then we get into this idea that anyway, I'm not going to attempt all the questions. Many questions will be the six, seven, eight range. So I don't push myself to understand that last chunk. I don't go hang in there to read the toughest passage. I'm not worried about, I'm not, I don't cover exponents and logarithm. I skip away the really complicated uh, LR puzzles. Don't do that. What CAT 2020 is telling us is you could have a paper where there are three questions from coordinate geometry, two impossibly tough puzzles and two passages from one from economics and one from um, uh, literary reviews all in one slot. So if you have, if you capped away your le level of difficulty, that's trouble. So don't cap that. Learn from first principles and go further, go deep. The, there used to be a time where uh, the bank PO exam and CAT were more or less same. CAT just slightly had slightly more time pressure and 10% tougher questions. Now they are poles apart. And so that level of difficulty of each individual question could be high. So keep that in mind. So learn absolutely from first principles, from learning from fundamentals is uber crucial. Learn fundas, learn proofs, learn theorems, uh, establish a, a way of adding layer upon layer upon layer to your preparation. That's very crucial. Right? Uh, specifically for, for VARC, what you should do, read tons of stuff. Read tons of stuff. Read with great variety and great read beyond uh, regular fiction. It's very crucial. So uh, very often, told many students that read whatever catches your fancy read start reading from simple books read dan brown read chetan bhagat read sydney sheldon which is crucial if you don't have the reading habit you don't want to pick up the classics so it's very crucial to start simple but it is not sufficient to stay simple you've got to read books that uh, that don't come naturally to you you've got to read long articles that are not in your comfort zone because the, the, the stamina of hanging in there, the ability to hang in there when the choices have double negatives, is, it gets built when you have a, a kind of reading backbone to yourself and that comes from variety and difficulty. So don't, don't shop there. For LRDI, get lot of variety. There's practically no template puzzle. So get more and more variety. Actually see all the many of the cat questions, but prepare with variety and prepare with, with focus on learning the solving techniques for different varieties. We should be able to figure out a new template rather than become better at given templates. Keep that in mind. For quant, once again, revisit absolute fundamentals. Learn from zilch, from basics. Fine. Cheers, guys. Best wishes. Hush.